2020 has certainly been a year of change, hasn't it? What's changed for you? They did a survey in the UK and only 6% of Britons wanted the world to go back to where it was before. 94% want change. They want to see a different world. And if we look at the world, certainly we've been various things that have been highlighted. Racism has certainly been one theme that America, of course, had massive issues with, but that quickly spread around the world and it was highlighted that not did just America have a problem but actually the world's got a problem. Equality is needed around the world. There will be a change. There's no doubt about it. Why? There are so many people that feel strongly about this that we know there is going to be change. We look at various things in society that have changed. Do we socialize perhaps the way that we were in the past? Do we buy things the way that we did in the past? And even the handshake, is the handshake gone? Um, certainly it's now, of course, out of fashion. Maybe it never comes back. Zoom for meetings, all of a sudden, will we do so many face-to-face -face meetings? We'll have some, but I'm sure there's gonna be less. Will we fly as much? Or perhaps will we fly in a reduced amount? Certainly as a CEO that's done so many flights in the past, I know that going forward, I'm gonna be doing less. What are we looking for? I think we're all looking for a fairer world. We're looking for a world where we can actually take care of the planet. It's interesting to see that when there was lockdown, nature actually was revived. It shows the damage that we do. I actually believe that 2020 has caused certainly many crises, an economic crisis, but it's a year of change. And we've got to make sure that we use that change individually to improve but also each country has to. That means we need to stand up for the things that we believe in and we need to push forward for a better world. 2020 could be seen actually as a year that there was change and the world became a better place to live in.